Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, I'm just, uh, I'm just mucking about because I'm still waiting for Alpha 12 to come out. And uh, I'm recording this live on Twitch. So, uh, an idea sparked by Pretorianus13 in the Twitch chat. Uh, Britain with one big ship against three Japanese battleships, along with a light cruiser and five destroyers. Now, I'll give myself a little bit of a tech disadvantage, and I'm going in with a battle cruiser. Not a battleship, because I have an idea of what I want to build. Um, we're going to build a super battle cruiser because I haven't done that for a while. Uh, you can uh, come up with a name if you want, but I was going to go for the Praetorian. Right. Actually, is that as important? As I think it is. No, not for the weight. And then, which is the matching compact tower? Yeah, let's just go for the, the very m most basic of towers. And then we're going to go bonkers. So we're <laughs> Gonna go ooch. <laughs> and hmm. There we go. Do 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 do. Yeah, I, I have been using the other... You're absolutely right for the length. Um, I've been trying to use the other towers more. Um, because, yeah, I, I definitely have a tendency to always go with the top-end towers, as do other uh, creators. And, yeah, you kind of want to give yourself a little bit more in the way of options. I think that's a 360 turret now. Yeah, it is. It's good. Uh, so we are dealing with a cruiser and a destroyers and stuff like that as well. So I do want some secondary guns. I'm going to go with trusty six-inch guns there and there. And then I think we can produce an interesting b battery on the back. I wonder if this works. No, it doesn't. Damn. <laughs> okay, the tall one's not tall enough. I was hoping I could go like one, two, three like that, but what we can do is have these two and then one on the deck. angles on them. Lovely. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. There's always this temptation to go with the best. But what I've been finding is you do actually save a lot of weight. Like, that's over a thousand tons. And there's not that much stat difference. Um, I could go for eights, but I tend to find eights a little over over perform a little bit. I know that sounds stupid, but um, like they're too much if you're just dealing with like cruisers and destroyers. I think I think I prefer the six and that. I know that looks really weird, <laughs> kind of a step. <laughs> um, but that sh that should give me quite a lot of six inch firepower. That's Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten six inch guns fire, able to fire each side. Um, we'll get some four inch as well. And 
some two inch for hilarity reasons. Now then, smoke wise, I think, yeah, just a single mega funnel four. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, if I was going to change any of them to eights, I would change all of them to eights, which is doable. But I'm going to have to watch out for my weight because I am bringing <laughs> nine 20 inch monsters. Um, so I do need to watch out for that. Uh, now then. Uh, by the way, I don't know if every, any, everyone else knows this. You see these little circles here? You can put two inch guns on them. Like you can put two inch guns way out at the side of the ship on this hull. It's really weird. Like you can put them like hanging off. <laughs> I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you can do it. How much does smoke influ interference influence accuracy? That's a good question. I did actually do a video on this. Um, it's one of my shipbuilding 101s. But um, basically, so you see here, if it's negative, you have no penalty. But if I stick on another identical funnel, that jumps up to 43. And it gives me a minus 13% base accuracy debuff. So basically, you want this to be as close to zero as possible. Um, is there another funnel setup I could do? I mean, possibly I could do... See, if I did two of the twos, it still gives me minus 8%. So... that That's why I tend to tend to run single funnel setups a lot more now. Um, right. Yeah, no, this thing... I think, I think I'm happy with that armament layout. Let's get the rest of the ship built. Let's... Let's start with uh, radar. Uh, should I do go for long range today? Everyone always tells me I should stay at range, do long range, so let's do that. Um, I do have destroyers with me, so hopefully they'll have sonar. I'm going to go semi-auto advanced hydraulic. I'm really liking that setup at the moment. Um, Gun-wise, I'm just going to go high TNT. Very boring, very normal choice. No, I'm not. <laughs> just that it's my flash fire chance. Uh, we're going to chew powder <laughs> today. Because <laughs> um, I don't want to explode everywhere. Oh, that reduces it a little bit more. Yeah, still way too high. We're going to go with tube powder. Uh, tube powder standards. Now, what are we up to? 83. Okay, let's go... Let's go double-geared steam turbines today with Orcs Diesel and a shaft. <laughs> yeah, I know. How much TNT is there in a 20-inch shell? I know, it's scary to think about. Right, engine efficiency is terrible at the moment. Balanced boilers, how fast will we be going on? No, that's not fast enough. Forced. Oh, still, still not very fast. Really? This is not a battle cruiser at 26 knots. It's too big. That's the problem. Right, can we go down... A side step. I know this is going to absolutely wreck everything, but it should still be doable. Oh, come on, game. Not going to have as nice firing angles on the secondary battery, but should should still work. Guns back. Halfway offset is fine. Okay. 
Now we should be able to get some speed out of this thing a little bit. Jesus Christ, it's still slow. Hmm. Yeah, it does look a bit better here. Still just 27 knots for a battle cruiser. It's not that fast, but it's it is respectable. It's just not fast enough. I really don't want to make it too much. No, I don't I don't definitely don't want to go to the tiny size, so. We'll go for that. I'm just surprised. Cause yeah, it doesn't matter whether I go with that or that. It's hard to get this thing to go super fast. Uh, again, I could put on another funnel. Uh, increase my uh, funnel capacity, but I really don't want to take that accuracy hit. Uh, I'm just wondering, is there a... Because you yeah, two of those gets me to 27. So a double funnel setup. It's just... just don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Let's get the rest built. Um, Anti-flooding system. Let's go many bulkheads. We're going to want very long range. It's a British ship. Yeah, yeah. You just want a tiny, tiny... Yeah, I... Basically, I, I would like either this funnel to be even bigger, a Mega Funnel 5, <laughs> or to have access to, like, just a little, little tiny funnel. Because there's no way to... Like, these are all too similar. Um, I'd like a, a different type of funnel, basically. Like, a, a lesser funnel and a s ultra funnel or something. Uh, right... Let's see now. Anti torpedo belt. I should probably have one. Just in case. Now we're going to go for the two. So we can get some armor in here. So that it's at least armored like a battleship, even if it isn't one. Oh, wow. Okay. Way over if I want to get that much armor in. Hmm. Uh, actually, that does make quite a big difference. Let's go standard anti torpedo one. There we go. Uh, hmm. I'm not quite happy with that. I would prefer to get the range back up. It's just really... That is actually quite... Mind you, if I went with diesels instead of the double-geared steam turbines, then I'm closer to... Like, it's actually less weight. Because of the fuel stowage. Um, hmm. That nah, doesn't change that much. Uh, push again. Of course you can. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do all the actual user scenarios that are still waiting uh, when we get to Alpha 12. Just not sure what to. I mean, I could be really risky and take the anti torpedo belt off, and go for a double bottom. And there we go. <laughs> this thing won't get hit by torpedoes. Ha ha. 
Um, pick up some more belt armor. 14 will do nicely. And then somewhere up the tower. Just a little bit. And that'll do. There we go. The Praetorian. Pretty tough challenge I've set this ship. Uh, but uh, let's see if she can manage it. Shush. Oh, they brought a Nelson style ship. Interesting. Okay. Right, battle cruiser is fine, and then we have the Tribune. Well, they might actually be... Well, okay, they are pretty much only good for dealing with uh, enemy light ships. They're not really torpedo ships at all. Uh, Praetorian has already spotted the enemy, and they're behind us. Oh, boy. Nelson and a little bit more. And those are big guns, too. Shush. Let's get, let's get on target. <laughs> That's on the <rare. laughs> Three percent accuracy. Let's slow up a little bit. Because uh, they're coming in against us. Try and get that accuracy up. Such a pretty ship. A little bit on the ludicrous end. And uh, you're also about to be deafened, by the way, chat. getting in the way, which is annoying. But Wait, what the fuck? We killed something. What? What the sh- When did that happen? What on earth happened there? It looks like we hit them straight on the gun and the whole ship blew up. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's possibly the longest range kill I've ever managed in Ultimate Admiral. 33.5 kilometers. Holy. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they, they can't see me at the moment. Um, basically able to fire on them and they're not able to do anything. Which uh, is fair. Oh, they spotted me now. Yeah, they spotted me and we're returning fire now. Definitely using big guns as well. Notice we're going anti-parallel to them, so I'm going to come about. Oof. 18-inch guns they're using.
<laughs> I know, it's incredibly unlikely. In fact, I have in fact scored only three hits, and yeah, one of them was an ammo detonation. That's what happened, and I totally missed it. And that's a pretty good test right there. The ship could uh, do a turn and keep firing. There we go. Got another hit in return. So our accuracy is actually not bad. Six and a half percent is decent. We're taking damage back, and they have a lot more guns, so which is unfortunate. Let's angle in a bit. Anti-parallel, a new one on you. Uh, so I'm not even sure it's the correct term, but my understanding of it is, so if you are parallel to someone, you are traveling in the same direction, um, but anti-parallel is you are traveling at 180 degrees to the other person. So the opposite direction, basically. Yeah, cool. But uh, if you're doing that in UAD, you get a pretty big accuracy debuff. Ow! How are they hitting me that much? Well, it started off well, but... With them just exploding once, but... See, this is why I don't like long-range builds. It's it's so RNG based. Right, here we go. Yeah, few bulkheads. They're using no, they're using tube powder. Huh. Bomb it three. This is the L4. You even have torpedoes on them. They're actually more expensive than I am. Those ships. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't think. Not unless I get another lucky hit. And I'm just not hitting at all. See, their accuracy is actually less than mine. Oh, well, it was until I took damage instability. On reverse course, yes, that's probably the correct naval term. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to disengage. Sorry. Not the fight. I, was I wonder if I can make the Praetorian better. Hmm. So let, let's look at the ship again. Because there's something not right here uh, with how this is operating. Tell you what. I know what it is. I haven't stuck to my own rule about battle cruisers. And that is to take off a turret, effectively, compared to a battleship. I should be running duels. This is basically a missing turret here. Okay, so duels, that saves me 10% displacement. Which means... More deck armor, like a lot more. Uh, tell you what, I'm actually going to move this. Oh, no, 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 no,
So we're going to go for, yeah, much, much thicker deck armor. 10 inches on the main deck. 10 inches on the turret tops. And just a little bit more on the extended. There we go. There we go. I think this one might work. And uh, make it shorter. Yeah, um... Go for the, the smaller size. If it's going to send me overweight, that's the problem. And then it... It doesn't shorten it where you expect it to. Like, you use... You lose the good bit of deck, basically. Don't know how else to describe it. I know I've messed everything up. Weight-wise. Why am I overweight now? Tell you what, let's go back to... Double geared steams and medium range. Um, exchange for just more deck extended. <laughs> just really armor this thing up so that we can actually take those deck hits. Right, let's try again. Eh. I don't know, because if I can reduce them from pens to... Oh, they come with a totally different type of ship this time. Um, if I can reduce them from pens to partials, that is significant. That's very significant. Because they're going to chunk me down in damage a lot more slowly. Uh, normal... That's basically an American destroyer. Of the four four pipes. Oh yeah, particularly when they come up with that. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you prefer the nine or the six gun? Look. Yeah, uh, partial pens are a lot more powerful now, which makes sense. You kind of like slowly degrade the enemy's armor. Um, yeah, I, 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 absolutely being stupid, going for nine guns on a battle cruiser each. Like six guns is right. Look at her turn. That's pretty that's pretty impressive actually. It's a pretty good turning circle. Right, target the lead ship. Oh, we hit we got a hit. We hit the rear ship. Right on the on the nose. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, the Taskmaster would have been a lot easier on the previous patches. Um, I know. I had a load of loads of fun in Cruiser Killers. Absolutely, tons of fun. It was so close. See now, this this is a bad play by the AI. Now, those guns, whatever they are, are they 14s probably? Yeah. They do not have punching power at this range compared to mine. 
they should be trying to close. They've got an advantage in light ships, but they're not. They're staying at staying at range, just not a good idea. There you go. Partial pin. That's much more like it. Although, admittedly, they're using completely different guns, so... You know, maybe those 18s would have gone through, but... Quite sure what the Vigo thinks it's doing. Put them on manual on individual screen commands. Score to hit. Hmm. Of course, we don't really know how things are going to pan out because, um, oof, went through my extended belt. Okay. I think you'll be getting deck hits at this range, not belt hits. I'm getting very suspicious about these small ships. Gonna move away a little bit. Just to throw any long range torpedo fire off. We do have an ID on the enemy. Uh, really? That's no fun. Minimum bulk kid, 14 inch. Why? It's literally the worst combination in the world. Uh, they do have okay armor, I guess. And they're using high TNT. Not ending crap. Okay, what have we got here? Yeah, range 14. Those torpedoes on the destroyers. So I don't want to get too close. 4.9, 4, and... Ooh, you just took a big hit. Just took a really big hit. Alright, next. Yeah. There's a more battle cruiser like the mine. How fast are they? 30 knots. See, this is the thing about long-ranged battles. I don't find them that interesting to play. It's basically like, sail along, go bang, hope for a hit. You don't get that cut and thrust excitement of closing in. Oh, you leave my destroyer alone. Because, yeah, I'm really not likely to hit anything at the moment. I mean, it's not a bad chance, of course. Oh, there we go. Pretty sizable hit. Yeah. Long range shields aren't that fun at all. Of course, <coughs> what would normally be happening um, is whilst the Praetorian was doing this, 
Um, I would have some cruisers as well. Ooh, that was a big hit. That was a really big hit. Because uh, if I had some cruisers, I could move them more aggressively towards the enemy. So I'd be like fighting in between here and here with cruisers trying to take out their smaller ships so that I could then do torpedo runs on the battleships with my destroyers and kind of harass them with cruisers and smaller ship. I don't know what the Vigo thinks they're doing. You're on a screen command, which means you should be like here. No, you died. <laughs> well, you're going to be stupid, then that's what you get. They're going to run into each other. Bum, 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 bum. Come on. And again, what the enemy should be doing is they should be attacking with their is it five destroyers they've got? Oh, that was a good hit as well. The five destroyers they've got. I'm trying to just pester me with torpedoes. Like, long-range gunnery duels not in their interest at all. Oh, I hit both of them at once. That's <laughs> what happens if you sail too close together. There we go. Finally took out the Shinsoku. Oh, six inch guns getting involved. Light cruiser coming in. Oh, immediately a couple of hits on the already damaged Katen or Kitan. Slightly Eden has taken a hit. You know what? You're pretty much useless at this point. Down goes the Kitan. Kitan, whichever. Just the uh, Kashima to go. Oh, lovely. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you're firing torpedoes at me. Rude. Might do the Kashima in. Yep, down she goes. Go 
kind of uh, armor is the light cruiser got? Oh, come on. I think we can fire HE chaps. this point I should probably actually just leave because there's no point carrying on achieved our mission sunk, sunk the enemy have enemy capital ships and firing on the cruiser is funny but largely unnecessary Anyway, I'm going to end it here, for those of you on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye. <laughs>